month, we're happy to announce that our teacher is Mr. Bunch. A lot of students made it known that Bunch is a cool teacher who cares for his students and likes seeing them succeed in his class. He always encourages his students to do their absolute best work. He's helpful and always takes the extra step to make sure students fully understand what they're learning. He's confident and passionate about the subject he teaches, making history all that more fun. His energy and willingness to get his students involved makes his classes that more exciting. Congratulations, Mr. Bunch. We hope you keep up the amazing teaching. Yeah, it's Ash, it's Ada, she did not eh, yeah, it's Ed, it's Anam So, yeah, it's Ed, Page Unified School District. Uh Shaiki Ani Adona and Ishling Goldo Bash's chain, squad a cheat me eight ash chains, cup of hunt, eight ash nella, awkward ass and initial, she a shandine parish in a sha, twitter nash and dead nasha, adol she a nabaho bitch I can't initial. Hello everyone, and my name is Shandine Parish and I am Miss Navajo Nation 2019-2021. And I just wanted to say hello to all of the Native American students at the Page Unified School District. I want to say thank you for um, your time and all of your dedication to your schoolwork this year. I know we are in a very strange situation, but you are all making the best of it. And I just want to say that I am so incredibly proud of you for your efforts. And I just want to say thank you for being patient with your teachers, with your administrators, also with your family members. Members. So again, I, I just want to thank you for your time today and keep up the good work. Oh yeah, te are dani hinatagi do da isno tsagi the Jonathan Nez dani hit the Navajo Nation president. The, I am uh, the Navajo Nation president. Greetings to the Page Sand Devils, and uh, we want to wish you a good semester. And I know that there are some uh, tough times ahead of us and after us because of this pandemic. But I know that we all are a resilient people. We've gone through some tough times in our history as a nation through pandemics before. And you know, we are gonna get over COVID-19 because we are working together, helping each other out, continuing our way of life teaching, of course, our language and our, our culture. And so I just wanna encourage all the students there to reach your full potential, do great in, uh, in, in the semester, and I know that the uh, you will come home one day, just as our uh, relatives have said, you know, go get an education, come home and help your people. We uh, appreciate the work that you all are doing in the classroom. God bless you and God bless our great Navajo Nation. And of course, the, uh, the Page uh, Sand Devils as well. So good job to everyone. And thank you to Mr. So for allowing me to say uh, some words to encourage each and every one of you. So thank you so much. on the boards and indeed in their last ball game we only have 15 rebounds wow and normally Stu is in double digits himself yeah and uh, so we we did not help ourselves on the boards uh so i said well who's the go-to player for the falcons he said i don't they all play about the same kind of game you were telling me about a three-point shooter uh, and you said he was built like a linebacker, and I played college football, and I don't see a linebacker out there. I do not but either. Well, he may have just been an assistant. Maybe they, maybe, maybe he got traded. <laughs> yeah, he might have got traded. You know how those Valley schools, they just you know, trade about. Yeah, we got Dugai in a trade. We got so. Dugai in a trade, and that was a, that was a good. But uh, they did a good job on the boards last time against the Sand Devils, holding us to 15. And Sandal had seven of those 15. Page had, had 11 steals, so we were... We were doing a good job defensively in that sense. Orlando Nyazi, uh, oh, Landon Nyazi led uh, in the steel department with five or six, and but we had 19 turnovers as well. And so you got to take care of the ball, get it off the glass, and then from three-point range, we did shoot 16 shots. The only problem was we only we only hit th we only hit three. And uh, that's a that's a that's a poverty laden 19 percent poverty point. laden. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, you can't live on that. Uh, so anyway, hey, but you know, Paige, if it were any other season, because uh, we we were in the championship last year, we got two two kids that we leaned on last year during the playoffs and during the regular season that chose not to come out, uh, and so. As a result, now we brought some sophomores up. They've been gaining a lot of experience, no doubt about it. Right. But uh, and one one of the kids, uh, we have we have two three guys that are pretty solid. Uh, Hunter Richardson, he gives up number he twenty. Comes, he comes, yeah, he puts some good minutes in. Thanks. 
And this is not a knock because he's a really good athlete. He is. But he's used to rolling around on the mats this time of year and not playing on the hardwood and because he's been a wrestler. And then you've got a guy named McCormick, uh, and he came a couple games ago. Shoot, he came in, put seven points on the yeah. board and uh, hit a couple threes with that. But like I said, we're, we're really young when it comes to that. Starting five, we play with anybody. Uh, yes. And, and so – that's, that's really awesome for the Sandals. Sandals right now, Dugay. Uh, Stewart is leading and scoring with 18. Dante Dugay, uh, the, high, the, the high cost transfer. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. We had to pay a lot of money for that. Well, he was on and the then, waivers list for two weeks. I know, and we couldn't, we couldn't resist. <laughs> uh, he's got 11, Holiday 10, uh, averaging 10 points. Rebounding Stu and jo Jonah right there with eight, eight rebounds a game. Good for them. Both of them. And uh, Smith. Uh, leading with seven assists. Threes as a team, we have improved. Uh, we're shooting 31% uh, from three. Now, that's not bad. Uh, 47 for 151 shots. Jonah is shooting 10 for 23 from three-point range. That's a sparkling 43%. And so he's he's really been money from there. Uh, Yazi, Orlando, the sophomore, seven for 19, 37%. New guy, 13 for 42, 31%, and Smith, 8 for 28 for 28%. He has improved, and here is one thing we got to improve. What? Uh, in close ball games, what counts? Mm -hmm. Free throws. Yeah. And we're shooting 59% from the free throw line. And Should be better. We got it. Well, yeah. And so we're literally in the last week or so before we start the playoffs. I know. Isn't and, that amazing? Uh, it, yeah, I know. And uh, St. Michael's, uh, they ended up canceling this week and they're going to come in sometime next week i think the third oh, march the third okay and then uh you know we it's going to end fast <laughs> this is this is gone quickly and this game's going to come fast i'm going to yep. talk about our sponsors we'll go to uh jason's perspective and then uh and then we'll get back the game should be coming up pretty soon i want to thank our sponsors and so does bob but i'll take care of it h and r block of page thank you so much caesar's little caesar's Great pizza. How about Lake Powell Job Fair? It's coming up. It's coming up March 6th. So at Antelope Point Marina. So check it out. Uh, Artie's drive. Need a little good news in your life? Well, here's the deal. State Farm has new lower car insurance rates in Arizona. So you can now get the service and convenience of State Farm agent Scott Larson at an even better price. That's right. State Farm can help you save more cash and get the good neighbor service you deserve. It's the real deal for car insurance. State Farm agent Scott Larson is ready to help you in Page. Call Scott today, 645-3330. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. To, uh, Jason's uh, perspective and then one minute worth of commercials and then Bob and I will be back on the Pablo Trading Post scoreboard. That's one of my bucket lists. I'd love to be in Fenway. I drove around it in the snow oh, once when I was in the Air Force. Seriously? Oh. Yeah, I'd just love to be there near the green wall. Did you ever see uh, Field of Dreams? Yes. And that was, that was filmed there where yeah. Where Mike uh, James Earl Jones is standing in the middle right. of the street as, yeah. <laughs> and then he's, what does something mean? Right. Oh, play the, go the distance. Go the distance. Yeah, that, yeah. That, I love that show. That was so good. I loved how they treat the treat the rookie when he came up. All right, that was so good. But Ray uh, Liotta. Ray Liotta played Shoeless Joe. Yeah, yeah. But yes, I got to tell you, it was fiction. Sorry. Fiction. What? And I was going to go there, part of my bucket list. To go there? I think they kept the field. I know. Yeah, yeah they. Uh... Oh, so, yeah. I should have told you, we just started a commercial. Sorry. It's. 
Digging on your property line without knowing the location of underground utilities lines can result in damage to gas, electric, water, and sewer lines, which can lead to service disruptions, injuries, and costly repairs. Alliant Gas reminds you to call 811 first. It's the phone number to call before you start digging. It's free, and you should call 811 at least three days before you start any digging project, whether you're planning on doing it yourself or hiring a professional. Alliant Gas will mark the underground lines free. They deliver safety and service you can trust. RDS is proud to support the PHS Sand Devil basketball program and looks forward to seeing you at their drive-in restaurant soon. RDS keeps us all happy and feeling like things can get back to normal since you can still get your favorite burger, burrito, or chicken sandwich with a quick and easy trip through RDS Drive-In. You can keep your family happier with a trip to RDS. Try bringing it home for dinner to make everybody happier in the house. RDS really is a page tradition, just like Sand Devils basketball. Thanks, RDS, and go Sand Devils! You know, and the immature me, uh, Bob, and you can correct me, you're a school official, you can put me in detention for saying this, <laughs> but I, I am of the mind that perhaps they didn't come because of 75 to 15. I don't think so. There's got to be some other reason, and I, you know what, being an investigative report, reporter, <laughs> I should have really asked, but I did not. Because uh, there are penalties that uh, AIA hands out, so there's incentive to play games. If they can at all, they play, regardless of those scores. I mean, it. you know, you, you think about St. Michael. Uh, they're number four in 1A, and they were supposed to be here. And from all intent and purposes, it should, should really look good with the girls from here in St. Michael out of Window Rock, the Window Rock area. But, um, yeah, it, it's got to be daunting to come up here all that way to realize that, yeah, we're outmatched, but let's go play the game, see what we can do. There's really no downside for some of those guys. Uh, Paige has got a bullseye on their back, and it, it's nothing but up for them if they just even get close. Right, right, and, right. And right, it, no, no offense to the North, uh, North Central. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, we're used to all our great teams up here in the, in the North in the 3A. We miss and them. And we, we constantly talk about how much we miss them, and I really like Jason's uh, shout out to them and, the, and how the basketball teams here uh, put up a warm up jersey to put on that, that really honored the 3A North and, and say, hey, welcome here. We're, we're glad you're, you know, you're, you're, we're glad you're supporting the Sand Devils even though you can't play. But they got some other teams that are playing that, that they'll support for sure. But yeah, we missed that, that competition. And we have some of the, what you call banners? Right of some of the teams that cannot play or will are not playing right now because of COVID. Uh, Chin Lee, uh, Atchise, Atchise, uh, mm -hmm. Atchise, Atchise. Atchise. Uh, Monument Valley, Tuba City, Window Rock, especially Tuba City. Oh yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, absolutely. Atchise would be brand new in our 3A yeah. uh, and that'll probably pull over to the next year. So, hey, we're getting ready for the introduction of, no, the Star Spangled Banner and then introduction of lineups. It's gonna be game time here Sand Devils and Falcons. Right. Uh, let's do a one-minute commercial. Let's do a one-minute commercial on the Pow Wow Trading Post scoreboard. Uh, all right, we're, we're back in Sand Devil Gymnasium after the playing of the National Anthem, and the Falcons will be introduced first. 
Uh, and again, a rematch. Page needs to get this one. Yes. They need to get this one. So introductions of the starting lineup for the Falcons. Uh, number one, Shane Davenport. Number two, Benjamin Danko. Both seniors. Number 10, Xavier Mike, a junior. Uh, a senior, number 15, Quentin Langworthy. And number 23, Dion Danka, a senior. This is, I mean, they got a ton of seniors on this team. So not, not a surprise that they'll, they have a good team experience and they've worked together for quite a while. For the Page Sand Devils, they're being introduced. The first one to be introduced is Orlando Yazi wearing number three. Wearing number 15 is Dante Dugai. And number 25, Jonah Holiday. Robert Smith wearing number one. And the little fella on the inside, Stuart Sandal. <laughs> Sandal will be matched up against, I believe, it's going to be Langworthy. Uh, he's about the same height, maybe about six foot eight. But you got like body, body types. Both thin, um, Langworthy probably about six foot six, six seven, and we're getting ready to tip it off here. Welcome to the broadcast, and hope you enjoy it. It's going to be an exciting ball game. Found Hills with the with the tap, immediately on the attack. Dunk, dunk. It's what is it? It's Doka, Doka. Out top, it goes to Mike, and Michael be stopped and doubled up, and we're going to be have a held ball. Sand Devils in uh, caused a turnover. And it'll be Sand Devil basketball. They get them in the trap. So here come the Sand Devils. Again, we talked about the importance of working the glass and also playing really tough defense and stop the turnovers. I think that's about what any coach will tell you. You're going to be successful. Orlando and Yazi down baseline, back to Smith. Center circle, Dugai to Yazi. Back door screen for Dugai. There he is in the baseline. He's going to go go up. Nice float oh. in the lane. Nicely done. Great body control by Dugai. He picks up the first basket for the Sand Devils. At the last second, he dodged a bullet and made it. Yeah, that was really smooth. Daka, oh, that's a foul. Doka pushed his arm, elbow, and the whole side body into Holiday, and he, that's another turnover, turnover offensive foul. Dion Doka. Robert Smith, the senior, averages eight, nine points a ball game and more importantly, seven assists. We're going to get a blocking foul on the inside and that's going to be against, I believe it's going to be Holiday. Let's see what the, we'll have, I'll have to watch, see what the post is up on the, on the board. It is Holiday with his first. Crowd making a lot of noise for being a small crowd. Mike with it. Yeah, two tickets per player. Daka backs out. Doka, rather. Ball being swung around left side. Danka goes to Davenport. Inside the Langworthy. Langworthy working on Stewart to Doka. On the drive, Mike. Cross court, cross the top of the defense. Feed by Davenport. A miss. Dugai picks it up. He's going hard. He's going to stop going around Langworthy. Going to back it up. It's tapped away by the Falcons. Turnover. Sand Devils. And here comes Doka. Top of the key. To Donko. And to Davenport right side. Smith on him. On the drive. Up and under. Nice move by Xavier Mike. He gets the first bucket for the Falcons. That was Doka who batted the ball away earlier. Right. 5.55 in the first quarter, two up. Robert Smith, top of the key, right side, Jonah Holiday. He puts it on the floor, gets around his man, and, and Davenport will block it. And with it is Doc Doka. No, that's uh, Danko with the basketball, with the rebound. Doka, cross to Langworthy on the drive into the corner. Pass from Danko to Davenport. Goes out of bounds, turnover, Falcons. And here come the Sand Devils. 
Again, really important game for both of these teams. <coughs> Fountain Hills out to a real quick start, and then they got beat a couple times. Uh, and a big gift from Northwest Christian if the Sand Devils can take advantage. Orlando Yazzie into the corner. Jonah thinks, doesn't put it there. Robert Smith, skip pass. And Dugai will shoot from three, and he's, boy, I tell you what, Smith up high for the rebound <laughs> in the paint. <laughs> out to Holiday. After that inside little, oh, up and under, reverse layup, Robert Smith. Nicely done. Really nice play, 4-2 Sand Devils, about halfway through the first quarter. Xavier Mike, nice. a steal. Robert Smith all alone. Oh, and he hit at the last second. A smart foul by Davenport. Uh, and it prevented Robert from getting the easy layup. He'll have to do it from the free throw line. Yeah, he'll have to get his two points there. But uh, it was a smart play. Just patted his hand as he was about to put it up. Yep. As we said, Smith and the Sand Devils need to really improve from the free throw line. Smith is only shooting 36% from the free throw line. His shot up and good. He's a much better shooter than that. Mm -hmm. But uh, he hits the first of two. Robert Smith, the senior, has, uh, gosh, he's been a starter since he's been a sophomore. Next shot up and good. Nice job. Sand Devils uh, will fall back into their man defense. With it is Xavier. Mike Langsworthy with it. And knock, it's out of bounds, knocked out by Holiday. And Holiday said, I didn't touch it. It was all blue. 6 2, Sand Devils on top, 4 35 to go in the first quarter. Falcons in their away blue, and Sand Devils with their white. Inbounding Daco, he'll get it to Xavier, to Mike, rather. Doka with it. Back to Mike on the drive. Holiday stops and kicks into the wing a shot up by Langworthy no good rebound Jonah Holiday Jonah Holiday got that ball against a much taller man on the drive do guy on the re offensive rebound sandal and stick back nice job and we're going to get a turnover I believe no, I think we're going to get a timeout. Oh, it's a 30 second timeout so we'll, we'll take a 30 second timeout 405 to go 8-2, Sand Devils on top, first quarter on the Palo Alto Trading Post scoreboard. Go Sand Devils! H&R Blanco Page has geared up for the 2020 tax season, and they're ready for your tax paperwork. Get your W-2s, unemployment, pensions, Social Security, interest income, and dividend paperwork all together, and their easy drop-off service can help everybody. They call you with questions and for your signature when completed. It keeps you safe and allows the staff to do their job to get the fastest, largest refund possible. H&R Block now open longer hours to help you with all your tax work. H our block of page hopes for a sand devil win and put into a really tough spot uh, like I said his first varsity experience this year and uh, there's no doubt about his hustle for sure it works hard Mike with it Orlando Yazzie and him he goes all the way to the hole kick it out top of the key Langworthy gets Joan Holiday off his feet, steps inside the three, puts it up and in. Langworthy, six foot seven, 185 pounds. Sand Devils let Yazzie quickly back inside to Stu. Back out into the corner. That is Yazzie for a three attempt, and it's no good. Daka picks it up, and it comes down court. Langworthy in the corner. <laughs> Skip to the baseline, three on the way. Davenport, no good. Rebound, Holiday. Here come the Sand Devils. Robert Smith is stopped in the wing. Yazzie, top of the key, Robert Smith. Jonah Holiday. Corner, shot, Smith, no good. Rebound, tied up. Between, yeah, Yazzie and Langworthy. Right. And it's going to belong to the Falcons. And we'll get a substitution for the Falcons. Number three, Braden Went, another senior. Like I said, this is a senior laden team. Good hustle by Orlando and Yazzie on that play. Yep. Mike with it. To Went, Went. Top of the key, Doka. 
over the outstretched arms of Smith. Misses everything, and we're going to get a foul called, and that's going to be on Robert Smith, I believe. That'll be his first. Uh, and the Falcons will take the ball underneath their own basket. 8-4, to four, 248 left in the first quarter. Sand Devils on top. Inbounding Mike. The corner. Drive and it's blocked. <laughs> Get it out of the kitchen. Luke Geiger, big block by Stu. But the good thing is the Sand Devils controlled it. And here comes Orlando Yazi. He's doubled up inside Stewart. Stewart very quickly on the trigger. We're going to get a foul called. But Stewart was ready to make I mean, literally, he right now, there's no one that can pick him up on the inside. Langworthy is out. And they get smaller once uh, Langworthy, yeah. Langworthy Worthy is there. Oh, oh, the baby shot. Jonah Holiday on the inbound pass was right there and just couldn't get it. Too hard off the glass. Falcon basketball. Mike with it. We're going to get a call inside. And that's, there's one of the Falcons hit the deck hard. That was Luke Geiger. So that had to be, that had to be one of our guys. And I think that may be the second on Jonah Holiday. Do guy in for Yazzie. 2-2-2 two, two, two left in the first quarter. 8-4, Sand Devils on top. Falcons inbound in the corner. Danko and Langworthy from the elbow right side. Shot no good by Riker. Holiday, I mean, uh, the rebound to Smith. Down court quickly. Dante Dugai goes up, and it is blocked out by the Falcons, but it'll belong to the Sand Devils. Orlando Yazzie is going to replace Jonah Holiday, who has two through uh, two fouls already here in the first quarter. Inbounding. Robert Smith. He threw it where Orlando was thinking of being, but Orlando didn't make that spot, so it went out of bounds. Let's see what the... Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, Falcon ball. Yep, turnover Sand Devils. Falcons will inbound. Mike with the basketball. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Mike picked up by Yazzie. And now Whoa. Danko, there's a double up, and man, their bodies hit the floor. Intercepted by Orlando Yazzie, Robert Smith to do to. Oh! Oh, nice. Stuart nice, Smith, nice. nice feed in the lane. He goes up, does not wham, bam, slam, but he just puts it over the teacup. <laughs> and we're going to get a reach in. Do guy. So that'll be do guys first, I believe. Robert hit his head pretty hard during that smash up. Right, there was a there was a screen, and man, he he did get piled onto, but he's all right. 10-4 page, 140 left in this first quarter. Inbounding will be Doka. Now top Mike picks up his dribble. Left side to Went. Skip pass across the lane, a floater. By Davenport, no good. Falcons get the rebound. Pop from 12 by Doka, no good. Offensive rebound bound to Langworthy. And so oh, we're going to get a hell ball. It'll be Sand Devil basketball, but two offensive rebounds by the Falcons. But it wasn't like Stu was hanging around doing nothing. He was working hard. Oh, he was. 118 on the clock, 10-4 page. Smith right at about the timeline. And uh, Xavier Mike picking him up. They'll, they look to, to, to trap that first pass. And uh, the good thing is Smith is being chased by his defender. He was open for a bit, just didn't get it to him quick enough on the ba baseline. Dugai with it right side. Crossover dribble to McCormick. He puts up a three, and he is hit. And that looks like it's going to be it the is. bonus free throws for Nolan McCormick as he put it up from the baseline. Absolutely. I didn't see that foul coming. It looked like he was going to have a clean shot, and that boom at the end. And, yep, he hit, the, he hit the deck pretty hard. 54 seconds on the clock. McCormick on the line. He's a 50% shooter from the line. Hits one here. Now he's a little over 50. Could be. 11-4, Sand Devils on top. 54 seconds to go in the first. Nolan McCormick, next shot, a sophomore. He hits that one. Nothing but swish. You call it twine time, Michael. 
in the Midwest. <laughs> Nothing but twine time. twine time. It's twine time. I remember that song. Mm-hmm. Next shot by McCormick off the back of the rim. Rebound to Mike. And uh, Doko will bring it up. 45 seconds on the first quarter clock. Stolen by Orlando Yazi. However, picked back up by Mike. Quick hands. And uh, so the Falcons will retain possession. Double up by Stewart on that in the uh, corner. Falcons retrieve. Doka goes right over Yazi. No good. Offensive, another offensive rebound. That's by Mike. On the drive, kick off to Langworthy. Left side now to Went. And the Falcons with 13 seconds controlling. Floater in the lane, no good. Offensive rebound, fought for. Falcons, Langworthy, and Stuart Smith on the possession. It is Falcon basketball. And they have six and a half seconds to work with. Great defense right there by the Sand Devils. Unfortunately, great offensive rebounding by the Falcons. <laughs> so it, that was kind of tough. Went with it. To uh, top of the key, Langworthy, no good. Rebound McCormick. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. At the end of the first, page 12, and uh, the Falcons, two. And we'll take a one-minute timeout on the Palo Alto Training Post scoreboard. The road is calling you to get out of town safely. But how can you do it? Your vehicle isn't highway worthy and getting stuck in winter could be dangerous. Think about Avis. They have all sizes of cars and vans to get you, your friends and family out to see the beauty of the Grand Circle and beyond. Everybody's been wanting a getaway. You can do it safely and easily with the help of the friendly team at Avis. Just book it and you can look forward to your getaway. Give Avis a call at 928-645-2024 or stop by the Page Airport location to book a car today. Go Sand Devils, we're behind you. Have you experienced the delicious chicken tacos from Paco's Tacos? From that first bite into the crispy, salty taco shell to the last taste of the seasoned chicken and green chili, you'll understand why Paco's Tacos is a favorite of the paid sand devils. After the game, hit the Paco's Tacos drive through and grab some of their tasty Mexican food for yourself. You'll definitely score extra points with your family. Paco's is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Paco's Tacos, hot, fresh, and fast. Heavily by Mike Dugay on the left side. Pass it to McCormick. McCormick still in there with the ball is Stu outside the three-point line. Pass it to Dugay. Dugay looking to see back to back to Stu. Robert Smith yeah. pretending he was going to go for a layup. Instead, it's out to McCormick. Out to Stu beyond the three-point line. Orlando Nyazi. Talk about good defense. Is going on right now. Dugay with a three attempt, no good. Rebound by the Falcons in the person of Dion Doka. So it is Falcons ball, bounce pass underneath. 15, of course, is Long Langworthy, and he gets two, two points for the uh, Falcons. Sand Devils on top by double, 12 nice, to nice six. Nice dish by Went and Langworthy was finished. So that was a great, great big offensive set. Yazi has a pass stolen. Coming down the court, and it's missed. The, the layup is missed with the ball. Went out to Danko. And they sent the, they're regrouping the um, Falcons with the ball. Mike to Went. And the tall guy gets it, puts it in and out, but they get the rebound again the first time. They get the rebound the second time. So the Falcons still have the ball. They've had the ball for 40 seconds or so. And here, they, here goes the young man from the right-hand side. It was going to be Doka going for a three, but there was a foul inside against the Falcons, so it's going to be sand double ball. Charging call, great job that time by McCormick to give the body up. He got bowled over. Just before the timeout, he got smacked in the face pretty hard. Yeah. Well, big, big deal right now. Offensive rebounds, man, I'll tell you what. Falcons are killing us right yeah, now. Yeah, big time. 6.19 to go in the first half. 12-6, Sand Devils on top, despite those rebounds. Yes, uh, seven offensive boards for the Falcons there uh, in this part of the ball game. 
Stu has the ball underneath, but it's stolen. It's stolen by Went. Now coming down is Mike. Xavier Mike passes off to a teammate. And guess who gets that rebound? It's Stu reaching out like that. Sand double ball. McCormick from three. Yeah! Nolan McCormick, the sophomore, right from the baseline. Three-point shot right on. Twine time city. 15 to six. Way to go, McCormick. Sa uh, the Sand Devils on defense with Danko with the ball. Passing over to Mike. Back to Mike. That's about eight feet. Puts it in. Hey, that was a one-knee lift floater from the angle. <laughs> Don't see too many of those. Sand Devils ball. Yazzie going for the layup. He got blocked off by the defenders. Robert to Stu. And Stu. We're going to get a charging call against Robert Smith. Yeah, yeah that was going on as Stu was trying for the, uh, the bucket. So nothing counts. 15-8. Sand Devils up. 5-16 left in the uh, first half. Yes, indeed. Here come the uh, in the person of Mike. Xavier Mike with the ball. Bounce pass almost to himself. Puts it up. A rebound again by the Sand Devils. Stu hit it over to Yazzie. Yazzie with the ball still. He gets jammed up. Dugai gets the ball. He fouls as he puts in the left. No good. No good. Offensive foul, Dugai, and uh, importantly, his second. And uh, that's always tough. Sand I think Devils. that was Robert's second also earlier. Uh, he's got, I've got him for one, but you may be right. Oh, uh, no, that can't be. All right, <laughs> Xavier Mike with the ball. He he took a few steps. Thought yeah. no one was looking and whistle. He's, so argue, he's arguing baby steps, but uh, <coughs> steps is steps. Steps. Oh, oh, let me quote you on that. Steps, steps is steps. Steps is steps. Sand of a ball, 15-8. They have to lead with 4.50 to go in the first half of this ball game. Stu with the ball at the free throw line, gets it off to Yazzie. He's got a massive three. height advantage on the inside. They need to take advantage of that. Yeah. Uh, Yazzie tries, he was all up to the right. The ball didn't go in, he, he got hit, but no foul call. Now this time, Mike comes down, makes a nice layup, two points for the Falcons. 15-10 now, 4.27 to go in the first half. Sand Devils on top. Nice get by Mike, he had to go around the potential block of Stewart. Yeah. I'm not sure who that was. It's going to be an offensive foul, and we'll have to see, because I think I think it might have been Mike, but I'm I not sure. I thought it was Luke Geiger, but I could be wrong. Might have been Denko. No. Well, right now they've got it up for Dion Doka. Sand of a ball. Yazi into Robert. Thought about a three-pointer. Gets it into Stu instead. Stu is double man. The ball goes in and out. It was a great effort. Rebound out to the Sand Devils. And for Luke Geiger, it goes through his hands and into the wall, out of bounds. Sand Devil ball, 4.09 to go. First half, 15 10. Sand Devils on top. Mr. Yazzie with the ball over to, that was uh, Joel Beard in the game. Outside, McCormick, three point attempt, no good rebound. The Falcons, Falcons getting a lot of rebounds on both ends of oh, the yeah. floor. Went with that rebound, and you can see they set up a beautiful uh, arc blocking out the Sand Devils. Bryce Williams had it for a moment. Sand Devils had it for a split second. And now we have Bryce Williams putting it in for three. That hurt, 15 to 13. Sand Devils on top, 3.30 to go in the first half. Here comes Robert across the timeline. Defense has tightened up on the part of the Falcons, that's for sure. Stolen ball, and here comes Williams. Layup, good. That's going to tie the game up suddenly. With the ball, the Sand Devils. Mr. Beard with the ball over to Orlando Yazzie on the left-hand side. He gets over to McCormick. Out to the corner to Beard. Beard with the ball, trying to get around Williams. Finally gets it out to Robert. Robert setting things up, dribbling. Away outside the three-point line. No good. 240. Ball, ball game tied, 239 left in the first half. Mike with the ball, covered by Robert. Looking for someone to pass to. He finds someone, and that was Stewart's. Oh, no. Stolen ball. 
or Landon Yazzie right out of the arms of his opponent. And then he lost the ball, but picked up by McCormick. All right, let's start over. Beard to Yazzie, three-point attempt, no good, and hit from behind yep. by that, McCormick. That was a good call. McCormick came up flying in for the rebound, and uh, he bowled, I believe that was Benjamin Danko over. Timeout. Let's take a 30-second timeout. 2.12 to go in the first half, 15-15 the score on the Powwow Trading Post scoreboard. The Boilermakers Western States Apprenticeship Program is for you. A great career established to promote efficient and high quality field construction by skilled craftsmen and craftswomen in the Boilermaker welding trade. You could participate in self-studies, paid on-the-job training, and in-classroom instruction. It's an earn-as-you-learn apprentice program. Request your application for apprenticeship at www.westernstatesjac.org. The Boilermakers Western States Apprentice Program are proud sponsors of Sand Devil Sports. We are back, and I made a mistake. I mixed up my number twos on the floor. It was not Bryce Williams with those two buckets earlier, and I apologize for that. It was Benjamin Denko. Sand Devils having to go uh, for most of the uh, second quarter without two of their starters, Dugai and Jonah Holiday. So tough, tough sledding for the Sand Devils, and Falcons have tied the ball game. 15-15 it is. And Benjamin Danko at the line. Shot up. No good. We're going to get a lane violation. And that's going to oh, be that's against, it then. Boom. against Fountain Hills. So. We'll take it. Well, now the Sand Devils have an opportunity to break the tie. About two minutes left in the first half. 15-15 the score. Orlando Yazzie over to Robert. Back to Beard. Beard is still in. I think uh, something happened underneath, and we were going to lose the ball. That was, I think, on Stewart working on Langworthy. So that's going to be, I think, uh, no, that was McCormick. Falcons ball. Danko working around Yazi. Pass out to Mike. Mike thinks he wants to take a shot. He does not. He fires it back to Danko. Underneath we have Falcons. No good on that shot. Rebound by Stu. Nice job of Stuart staying, keeping his feet on the ground and following the shooter. One and a half minutes to go in the first half. Sand Devils tied 15-15 with the Falcons. Robert going for the bucket and his attempt to lay up. His arm was hit and his arm went backwards and he is gonna get two shots. Yeah, nice drive by Smith, and he did the good thing. He kept his body between the defender and the ball and drew the foul from Langworthy. So Robert at the line, trying to break this 15-15 tie. He'll get two. First one, good. 16-15, Santos on top, 125 to go in the first half here at Page High School. Robert dribbling. Aiming, shooting, perfect. And one of the sand, one of the Falcons is down and s appears to be hurt. That's Went. I didn't see it, but it was on the inside on the attempted rebound uh, for the potential miss. He was near Stu, but Stu, they were a couple of feet apart. So I think he tripped over his own feet. That well, would be my guess. Well, good thing he's now he's, he's injured somewhere. But yeah, but good thing he's up and out, uh, up and at him, huh? Oh, yeah, that was uh, Braden Went. All right, here we go. 123 to go in the first half. Sandovas now have a two-point lead, almost thrown away. Mike retrieves it. Mike with the ball, looking, but he's got Stu all over him. He passes over to the right with underneath. He's one of the... And that underneath guy was Luke Geiger, who got two shots at it and made the second one. 17-17, 59 seconds to go in the first half. Sand Devils with the ball, a pass to Stu didn't work out. Falcons end up with the ball in the person of Langworthy. Danko over to Went. Went covered by Yazzie. And then he's also covered by Stu, who gets his hand on the ball, but it didn't do anything. Underneath the bucket by himself was Went. It didn't, it rolled around for a half a minute, I see. 
and then Stu was right there. It's mine. That was a great pass, and Went just could not focus on kissing it off the glass easily. 20 seconds to go in the first half. Make it 17. Robert with the ball, thinking. Passes way over to McCormick, then to Yazzie, back to McCormick, three-point attempt. No good, a ball out of bounds, and it's gonna be. Sand Devil basketball. Seven seconds to work with here, guys. Seven, se seven seconds to work with. Tie game, 17, 17! Orlando and Yazzie. What a great shot, Robert Smith inbounds it. Or Yazzie just uh, goes up strongly, gets hit and kisses it off the glass. Nice job by the sophomore. And they haven't put up the points. Yes, they have, 19-17. And Orlando gets a third try for another point. No good. Rebound by the Falcons. Beard putting up a lot of defense, though, and an attempt for a long shot by Luke Geiger does not work out for him, so it's halftime. Halftime here at Page High School, and our halftime score, Sand Devils 19, the Falcons, uh, Fountain Hills 17, 1917, and we are going to take a two-minute timeout on the Pow Wow Trading Post scoreboard. Now introducing your ladies, Sand Devil cheer line, performing chair. codes, life changes, many things could impact your tax refund. Fortunately, your H&R Block Office in Page has the most up-to-date tax knowledge and will work closely with you to ensure you get every single dollar you deserve. They now offer a drop-off service during this pandemic where you can drop off all your W-2 paperwork and they will prepare your tax return, schedule a quick follow-up with you for questions and signatures. It's easy and you won't have to sit and wait for your preparer. They are now open longer hours and you can call for an appointment, 645-9270. Build your career in hospitality. Saturday, March 6, local industry leaders, Lake Powell Resorts and Marinas, the Courtyard by Marriott, and Antelope Point Marina are accepting your applications and resumes at the 18th annual Page Lake Powell Job Fair at the Courtyard by Marriott, 600 Clubhouse Drive. Social distancing is required, so please don't forget your mask. Bring your resume and dress in business attire. Be prepared for an interview and smile. We look forward to seeing you there. Go Sand Devils! So, yeah, a good first quarter for the Page Sand Devils, as we were mentioning. They held, oh, more importantly, they held the Falcons to just four points. Uh, and the Sand Devils, uh, they, they had... Uh, Gads, they were up by, by about 10, 12 points mm -hmm. in the first quarter. And uh, here come the Falcons. Uh, and the Sand Devils lost two starters, uh, Dugai and Holiday. And so that was, a, that was a big contributor. But I will tell you, McCormick came off the bench, and he contributed very, very well. Uh, but the big, in my mind, you always have to win the glass. you gotta, you got to be, the, you got to get the Windex award by the end of a ball game. <laughs> 
because uh, Sand Devils just getting beat on the boards, and that's uh, all there is to it. Especially in the second quarter. Yeah, second quarter, they just started pulling them down, and that really is a difference uh, because they had 16 rebounds uh, in the first half and eight offensive boards. Uh, stats, the rest of the stats, both equal with eight turnovers each. Uh, rebounds, as I mentioned, the Flat Falcons 16, eight offensive boards. Rebounds for the Sand Devils, nine. Uh, free throws, Sand Devils, uh, this is what's keeping them, keeping them in the ballgame, six for seven at this point. And the Falcons only do the line once, 0 oh for one. And uh, hey, the, the, just like we talked in the pregame, they got, they allowed, 50, they only picked up 15 rebounds last time. And so that meant the Falcons were getting an awful lot of the stuff off the glass. And that's what they really got to be working on, uh, you know, here in the second half. The other part, you can see the Falcons really moving, trying to get, well, Stewart is coming out of the middle of the lane and uh, trying to get that trap up on the wings. Uh, but when that does now, it gives the big height advantage to the Falcons. You're right, right. And, uh, you know, so I, I don't know that they're a very good three-point shooting team. I don't think they are. So their maybe, coaches. maybe we'll make <laughs> their coaches. Uh, but hopefully they make that kind of adjustment. So on the defensive side, because what happens when those guards penetrate, it's tough to come in when six foot nine's waiting for you. And they haven't really hit too many from the, from the arc. So uh, let's look for that. And like I said, foul trouble, we got two guys with two already. And so the minute that happens in the, in the first half of ball games, they're on the bench. And like I said, one of the big things, our bench has improved. But mm -hmm. I will say we have normally seen Richardson off the bench early, and he hasn't come on to the floor. McCormick has come on, done a good job. Beard has come out as well. So um, Fountain, Fountain Hills found their stride in that second quarter. As an aside, the reason I said his their coach can shoot threes is my wife and I were watching them warm up long before the game. Right. And we saw this one guy built like a linebacker, yeah. putting him in over and three pointers sure. and we at one point we saw four swishes in a row from the three point arc yeah. and my wife and i are saying oh my gosh sand devils have a problem here oh <laughs> he, he's the coach <laughs> I, we didn't know he was the coach we thought there was just some big well-built uh yeah, yeah player so we we lucked out there well he lost his eligibility 25 years ago come on <laughs> so but yeah this like i said we talked about must win ball games this is it they've got to come out of the locker room uh, really, they got to come in and control the ball game, much like they did in that first quarter. What would you say if you were Coach Smith in the locker room just now? What would you say? I'm telling you, you got to get the boards, and all they're, when they're penetrating, uh, what they're doing is you, know, you'll have, you have to be quick to the line because uh, they're getting some very, very nice passes on. They're a good passing inside team, and so you've got to you've got to really uh, watch watch the backside of your defense. Because uh, Stewart will go right to the ball, and the guys on the back side have got to be really aware of who's coming into the lane or who's posting up three. So, yeah, they're just, it's, it's all about the defense, man. That's how you win your ball games. Right. And on offense, we're losing some uh, a lot of rebounds as well in the second quarter. We are, and you got to give them, if you watch, uh, they're, very, uh, they, they're very well coached. Uh, if you watch inside the lane, for the most part, you'll see three guys one on the side of each one's on either side of the basket and one in the paint and they're all doing what you need to do they're boxing their guys out so they, they actually create quite an arc on the inside and that's how it, that's how you draw it up on the board all right we're going to take a 90 second timeout second half coming up the sand devils are on top 1917 at halftime on the powwow trading post scoreboard in the heart of Page, on the corner of the Boulevard and Elm Street, there's a new pizza place, Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Okay, you got us. But new ownership in a pizza mobile are worth talking about. We're not big pizza. We're Little Caesars. Page America is crazy about Little Caesars pizza. Order online, then skip the register with Little Caesars Pizza Portal Pickup. Little Caesars is the world's easiest way to pizza. 
Dixie Ella's Lower Antelope Canyon Tours are proud sponsors of the Page High School Sand Devils and our community. We'd like to remind everybody to mask up and please remember to respect the land. We're looking forward to serving our community again when the canyons open. Dixie Ella's Lower Antelope Canyon Tours. Not just a tour, but an adventure. Go Sand Devils! Ever feel like you're treading water with minimal progress? Fitness Odyssey and Desert Nutrition are here to help keep you moving. Experience state-of-the-art equipment, healthy smoothies, energizing teas, and classes for all fitness levels. Like, share, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or pagefitnessodyssey.com to stay up with our entire line of special offers and classes like spin class, Pilates, Zumba, Coreboard, and Odyssey Hit. Stop in today and feel the benefits of membership at Fitness Odyssey and Desert Nutrition. Just make a good guess. And we are back in H&R Block, one of our sponsors. We thank you. Little Caesars, Lake Powell, the uh, job fair coming up, and that's coming up March 6th. Don't forget about that. Alliant Gas, uh, call 811 first before you dig. Paco's Tacos, thank you. Boilermakers National Apprentice Program. Scott Larson, State Farm Insurance, Little Caesars. We also have Dixie Ellis. Thank you so much. All right, Falcons with the basketball. Start this third quarter. Langworthy with Stewart on him. Cross court pass in the wing. And Duke Guy will pick up his third. That was not well advised. Three fouls for Duke Guy. And he's going to come off the floor. You just can't get that fourth one this early. Yeah. McCormick's going to come in. Again, it was. Uh, Mike just going around, going around left side, and he got Dugai up in the air. Inbound, it'll be Mike, and he's looking inside, not going to get it there. He does, Langworthy. He gets Stewart over, uh, up in the air, missed the shot. Stewart with a rebound. Down court quickly, Orlando Yazi. He's going to back it out. Holiday in the wing. Smith, McCormick. McCormick out top to Yazi. Holiday on the drive, little Euro step, and it gets blocked. Nice block. I believe that was Mike coming down from his defensive spot out top and just got the ball as it was going up. Inbounding will be Smith. Smith out top to Yazi. McCormick down in the corner. Jonah Holiday slapped out by Davenport. Skip pass. Yazzie over the top of the defense, puts it on the floor left-handed. He's going to the rack, and he puts up a shot that bangs off the bottom of the rim. Uh, Danko with the rebound, and here come the Falcons. 19-17 as we start this third quarter. One minute gone here with the ball. Danko, Danko sees Smith and backs out. Stuart Sandal backs it out. Falcons trying to get it around the perimeter quickly, uh, and it's, it's going to be Doka. Left side, three-pointer on the way, and it's picked up by Jonah Holiday. That was Dan Danko with the shot. Holiday with the rebound, and here come the Sand Devils. Two-point game here. Sand Devils with possession and the lead. Robert Smith, top of the key. Mike on him. Down to McCormick. Back to Smith. Stewart is going to be working around the free throw line. On the drive, Holiday reverse layup, good. Jonah Holiday. We needed that. Welcome back to the lineup, Holiday. 21-17, page up, 6-13 left here in the third quarter. With the ball, Doka. Doka with Holiday on him. Top of the key, Davenport. Drive, puts it up in the lane, no good. Robert Smith with the rebound, and here come the Sand Devils. Orlando Yazi stops in the wing. Holiday picks it up. Davenport on him. Look, try, looking to try to get inside to Stewart. Not going to get there. Orlando Yazi with it. And uh -oh. the ball tapped away. Somebody got to go get it. And it does go out of bounds. Boy, as a coach, you look at that. Two ball players just looking at the basketball. <laughs> <and> said, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody. That's the reason we bought you sneakers. Let's go. <laughs> Sneak up on the basketball. <laughs> but Sand Devils will retain. It did go out of bounds. Robert Smith across the timeline, around Mike, and in the lane to Stewart. Two hands. Oh, 
Nicely done. Sando with the flush. Robert Smith with the assist. Prettiest play we've seen tonight. Sand Devils up 23-17 here. Shot put up by Danko, and it's good. Six foot from the angle. Yazzie with it, get inside to Holiday to Stewart from the free throw line, yeah. and good. Sandal, nice look by Holiday. Sandal with the basket. Six point lead, 4.54 to go in the third quarter. 25-19, Page, long distance, three put up and nothing but net for Dion Doka, the senior. He was alone, and he was four feet past three point. Yeah, his first basket. Robert Smith, near center circle. McCormick, deep in the wing, over to Holiday. Orlando Yazzi on the drive, stops, gets up in the air, and he's gonna be fouled. Nice take by the sophomore. He'll go to the line shooting two. He was trying to jump up and couldn't because somebody was on his foot. Orlando Yazzi, the sophomore. 71% foul shooter. And again, uh, Showing well for as a sophomore. Mm -hmm. Shot up and good by Yazi. It is good. He got a lot of play last year too. He did. He got in. He was a he was a good looking freshman, and he's a better looking sophomore. Nick shot up by Yazi on the way up, and it's in and out. Langworthy with the rebound. 26-22, Sand Devils on top. Doka with Holiday on him. Langworthy at the, at the free throw line. Now top to Danko with a, he drains a three point shot. Brings the, brings the score, one point lead for the Sand Devils and they've got the basketball. Halfway through the third quarter. Down low to Holiday. Inside Stewart moves quickly on Lang, Langworthy and Robert Smith, a beautiful offensive tap rebound. Gets into the hands of Sandal, and that's called money. Stewart now with 10 points. Out top, Mike. Doka with it. Holiday on him. And Doka hits the deck. And uh, inside it goes to Langworthy. Out top to Davenport. To Danko. Danko has McCormick on him. He, they double him up in the corner. Mike out top to Langworthy. Langworthy about to Mike. A three on the way from the wing. No good. Rebound tapped, and we're going to get a foul called, I believe, on either McCormick or Smith. Let's see who he chooses, the single one or the double one. <laughs> it's going to be the double one, McCormick. McCormick picks up his third. 3.20 to go. We're in the third period. Sand Devils on top by three. Falcons basketball underneath their own basket. With the ball, Danko leans into one. He's going to draw the foul, and he'll shoot two. And that is going to be the fourth foul on McCormick. He'll have to leave. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, Sand Welcome. Devil's in foul trouble. Four for McCormick, three for Dugay. Mr. Beard getting ready to come back in. Went looking to get in the box score scoring column. Two free throws here. Shot on the way, no good off the back of the rim. Into the ball game will be the senior, Joel Beard, number 33 for the Sand Devils. Uh, Danko with, oh, that's Danko. I said, I said went. This is Danko on the line. Missed his first one and hits the second. 11 points for Danko. Inside Stewart. Stewart is oh, going to be yeah. out. Now, see, that's the way it got to be. The quick pass inside gives the big guy opportunity to move. And Langworthy closing commits the foul. I think that's going to be the second on Lang. Well, they got him for one. No, none. They got him for one foul. Oh, I, I see what you mean, but no shots. No, it's, uh, it's their second team foul. Went will be coming in uh, for Doka. Sand Devils with it. Out top it goes to Beard. Puts it on the floor, picks up his dribble in a bad area, gets it down to Yazi in the corner. 
Robert Smith lob inside to Stewart. Stewart, quick move, and that's a tough shot. Gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. Should have been an and one. And his, his hands were hit as he was shooting that, yeah. but we'll take it. But Sandal, uh, the second shot much better because he did a little angle hook shot, which is a tough shot on the inside. But Sand Devils, uh, 30 to 26, Falcons basketball. Tapped out by the Sand Devils. It'll belong to the Falcons on the far sideline. 2.47 to go in the third. Down to Davenport, picked up by Smith. Right about the free throw line, the drive by went. Oh boy, that's a nice pass by Lang to, to Langworthy. But Stewart, block shot. Sandoval basketball and a pass by Robert Smith back to Smith inside to Stewart. He's going to go hard, draws a foul. Langworthy. So a nice job by the Sand Devils of getting the ball into the big guy. Good entry passes. And Stewart will shoot two. Stewart, a good free throw shooter. Well, decent, 63, and he <laughs> knocks this one down. Into the lineup for the Falcons will be Luke Geiger, the senior. Sitting will be Langworthy. He's got two. Next shot by Stu, no good. Rebound to Went, And here come the Falcons, down by five. Sand Devils 31, Falcons 26, just over two minutes to go here in the third. Davenport, nice backdoor pass back to Davenport. A great pass that time by Geiger. Yeah, Davin he was left all alone under the bucket, really. Well, yeah, they really took advantage of the movement of Stewart and mm -hmm. threw it where he wasn't. So nice job by the Falcons. Beard in trouble in the corner, and we're going to get a timeout uh, before he got in too much trouble. All right, we'll take a timeout, a 30-second uh, timeout. Sand Devils on top, 31-28, with just under two minutes to go on the Palo Alto Trading Post scoreboard. In the heart of Page, on the corner of the Boulevard and Elm Street, there's a new pizza place. Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Okay, you got us. But new ownership in a pizza mobile are worth talking about. <laughs> We're not big pizza. We're Little Caesars. Page America is crazy about Little Caesars pizza. Order online, then skip the register with Little Caesars Pizza Portal Pickup. Little Caesars is the world's easiest way to pizza. All right, after the timeout, it'll be Sand Devil Basketball. Uh, Coaches every now and then have to th throw out the lifeline to their kids when they see them in trouble. Yeah, they and call timeout. That's what Coach Smith did. Uh, inbounding will be Holiday tapped out of bounds by the Falcons' Denko. Holiday once again gets it to Smith. Mike on him. All the way around the perimeter, drives and tries to get it across the lane to Stewart, but it was a bad pass. Turnover, Sand Devils. Yeah, at one point it was uh, one off offensive person, Robert, and four defenders on him. Right. I mean, it was the right idea. Stewart needed to cut a lot harder, and Robert had to get a little clear lane. A pocket pass from Mike intended for the Falcons' Davenport. With the ball is Denko, and we're going to get a It's going to be Sand Devil Ball. It's going to be a turnover, Falcons. Yep, and I'll tell you, that brought the coaches off the bench. That good defense, and that'll get the Sand Devils possession. Minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Smith across the timeline, going left side. Down the lane he goes, gets it into Beard. Beard at the free throw line, left hand shot off the rim, no good. Beard gets his own rebound. Nice job to follow your shot, Mr. Beard. And Sand Devil basketball, a three put up by Smith, no good. Offensive rebound, Holiday just can't get it to go. Good offensive board, just couldn't finish. One minute to go in the third quarter. Page up, 31-28. Mike with it. Davenport on the drive, and it's going to be tapped out by the Sand Devils. He was looking for someone in the lane, didn't see anybody, so he was real fortunate that Sand Devils tapped it out because Stewart was right there. Inbounding will be Mike out top to Geiger. Danko to Mike 
and he stops his dribble. Baseline went. Looking back to Mike right wing. They'll reset. Sandoval's good defensive sets here in the third quarter. Skip out to Mike. Mike around her landing. Yazi spin in the lane. Goes up left hand. No good. And we're going to get we're going to get a offensive foul on Mike. And uh, Mike took the worst of it. Yeah, you could hear you could hear bone hitting hardwood, and that's never good. But he gets up in good shape. Uh, Robert Smith draws that foul. Oh, uh, it was a foul. And it's turnover for the Falcons. And Sandivals will have the ball with 27.2 left on the clock in the third on the powwow trading post scoreboard. By draws a foul, meaning he, he was the one that was hit. Yes. Robert Smith picked up by Geiger. Wow. Holiday, Orlando Yazi, 18 seconds left. Beard with it, drives into the hands of Orlando Yazi, right side to Holiday with 10 seconds. Pass intended for Orlando Yazi by Holiday. Turnover. It'll belong to the Falcons with didn't nine lead, seconds. Didn't lead them well. Sand Devils will apply full court pressure, trying to make them run clock. Ball on the floor. Falcons do pick it up. Inside, they get the easy bucket, Davenport. <sighs> the way you draw it up by a coach, that's it. So uh, Davenport with the bu bucket at the end of the third. 31-30 the score, Page up. On the Palo Alto training post scoreboard, we'll take a one-minute timeout. Go Sand Devils! H&R Block of Page has geared up for the 2020 tax season, and they're ready for your tax paperwork. Get your W-2s, unemployment, pensions, Social Security, interest income, and dividend paperwork all together, and their easy drop-off service can help everybody. They call you with questions and for your signature when completed. It keeps you safe and allows the staff to do their job to get the fastest, largest refund possible. H&R Block now open longer hours to help you with all your tax work. H &R block of page hopes for a sand devil win build your career in hospitality saturday march 6 local industry leaders lake pal resorts and marinas the courtyard by marriott and antelope point marina are accepting your applications and resumes at the 18th annual page lake pal job fair at the courtyard by marriott 600 clubhouse drive social distancing is required so please don't forget your mask Bring your resume and dress in business attire. Be prepared for an interview and smile. We look forward to seeing you there. Go Sand Devils! Start of the four, Sand Devil basketball. Yazzie with it in the corner out to Dante Dugai. Back to Yazzie, three on the way off the rim, no good. Robert Smith goes up, has his hands on the basketball, cannot control the rebound. And thus we lose the ball. It wasn't his fault. He was putting every yeah, effort into just it. Just never had control, so it'll be Falcons ball. One point ball game. And again, uh, as I recall, at Fountain Hills when you were there, it got to be a really close ball game in the fourth. Mm -hmm. So some things don't change. We're going to get a whistle call, and that's going to be a turnover on the Falcons. We accept. Yes, sir. Just underway in the fourth quarter, Sand Devils by one. Lob inside Stewart. Stewart has all the height, gets it out to Jonah Holiday. Three on the way, good! Count it, basket, Holiday. Sometimes he gets hot. He does. Well, he's, he's the best three-point shooter on the team. I don't doubt that. 43%, and Dugai is going to go park himself next to the coach again. He, I mean, he didn't get a minute in in this quarter. Let's, oh. So he's going to have to sit. Here comes McCormick. Right. Coming in right now, and yeah. do guys, that's his fourth. So Nolan McCormick in the ball game, and do guy will sit till about the five or the four minute mark, possibly. We'll see what happens here. Went with the basketball, picked up by Yazi. A lot of great screening on the inside by the Falcons, and we're going to get a blocking foul called on Smith. I think mm -hmm. that should be his second. So. Sand Devils. Third. Yeah, and it's their fifth, uh, it's their fifth team foul. Geiger with it into the corner. Went. Went's gonna put it on the floor. Down low. Working on Robert Smith. Missed shot. I believe that was Danko. And Holiday with the rebound. And here come the Sand Devils. Robert Smith to Yazi. Looking inside, looking inside. 
Big height advantage and skip across the uh, court. Yazzie top of the key. Robert Smith turned away a three-point shot. And ball knocked out by the Falcons. Went. It'll belong to the Sand Devils. Uh, Xavier Mike gets uh, ready to come in. And went, went that way. Went, went that way. Mike is one of a couple juniors on this team. Out top to McCormick to Yazzie. Parked at the free throw line is Stewart. He has a massive height advantage. They're going to try to get it to him, and they do. He goes up, and no co no challenge there. Stewart oh Sandal uh, puts it up and in. That was a pretty play. 15 points for Sandal. Page up by six. Nice pass down low. Geiger trying to go around Sandal. He puts it up, and it's good. Nice move by Geiger to go up over the... The six foot nine inch, Stewart Sandal, bucket, nope. Yazzie with the shot, rebound to uh, Donko. Make that Davenport. Geiger out to Donko. He's going to lose the basketball. Out of bounds it goes McCormick. Thank you, McCormick. McCormick, way to be a gnat in the hat. <laughs> you hate gnats in the hat. He got a, he, he got a, his hand on the ball, and then the, the guy in the Falcons couldn't get trying, put <laughs> yeah. it out of bounds. Yeah, he was trying to process that, and he just couldn't get at the ball. Sandals with it. Robert Smith right side. Down low it goes to McCormick. He puts a floater up from 10. No good. Ball bounced away. Oh, popped out by Smith, and he's going to pick up a foul, I believe. That and that could be his fourth. Yeah. Boy, I'll tell you, Sand Devils in foul trouble. Going after that ball. Yeah. 5.25 to go in the game. Sand Devils lead by four, 36-32. Yeah, and Robert Smith will be replaced in the lineup here fairly quickly. And so the Sand Devils only have a couple go-tos when we get down to it. We're going to get an offensive foul called. And let's see who, who they call that on. That's going to be on 23. That's going to be Dion Doka, I believe. That's on Doka. Yeah. That's going to be his third, third mm -hmm. foul. Third. And the 15 foul for the uh, Falcons. So Beard, you were right. Beard is in for Robert. Yeah, and if you look, look at who who you're going to get points from, uh, you you got a couple guys you look to, and they're going to have to really make good passes inside to Stewart. Beard out top, picked up by Mike. And he drives to the hole. He's going to lose the ball, and it'll belong to the Falcons' oh, turnover. He thought he was fouled. Just under five minutes now. Sand Devils by four. Xavier Mike with the basketball as he break, brings across the timeline. And that's in Davenport to Langworthy. Davenport in the corner. Smith, Orlando, Yazi on him. Mike. Between the legs, almost lost it. Danko with it, and he's going to be fouled, it looks like. Yazi, I think. Uh, yeah, and that's with McCormick, and McCormick's going to have his fifth, fifth foul, I think. So he's done. And we're going to get, uh, it looks like Chad Wood, I believe. Chad Wood, another sophomore. We'll see his first duty tonight. And on the line shooting the one and one will be Danko. Danko with uh, 11 points, shot up and good. Three point lead, Sand Devils, four and a half to go. Ah, uh, barn burners. It's mm -hmm. not a barn burner yet. We got to be careful. We don't, we got two starters on the bench. Next shot up by Danko up and it's good. Oh, lane violation. Be waved off. Lane violation Falcons, so that one does not count. And that helps. Went will replace Denko in the lineup. So Sand Devils, boy, I tell you, this is a, an uphill battle for the Sand Devils here. They see this is where your bench comes in, and uh, like I said, it has not been a long, I call it preseason. On the drive. And the, oh. the rebound, nicely done. Robert uh, Stewart went Sandal with the offensive board and with the basket. He's done that about four times today. Yep. And the 
Falcons will go to work. Davenport out top into the hands of Went with Wood on him. Went's going to, ooh, I thought it was a body turnover. Falcons and Jonah Holiday with the basketball with 3.54 left here in the fourth quarter. Page up by five, 38-33. Backdoor cut, Yazzie in the corner, Beard. Left hand, three on the way. It's no good. Rebound goes to Davenport. Falcon basketball. Went across the timeline, Chad Wood on him. Into Langworthy. And Stewart right in front of him. Three-pointer launched, and it's good by Geiger. That ties it. Geiger now with seven points. Oh, I had it right. 38-36, and was on top still. Yes, sir. Orlando and Yazzie to Beard. Out top to Wood. Wood right side to Yazzie. And it's Holiday. Top of the key. Picked up by Mike. Beard. Picked up by Wynn. Beard puts it on the floor. Little step, left hand, uh, no good. And Stewart Sandler. <laughs> Stick back, Stu. And he's fouled. Oh, my goodness. Stewart right now with 19 points, and he'll shoot one. Third foul for Langworthy. And Danko will come in for the. Falcons, and also, let's see, who else came in? Davenport, there was one of the, I think it was Davenport came in the ball game. Robert and Dugai are going to come back in. Yeah, normally we're at the four to three minute mark, so we get uh, Dugai and Robert Smith back. Four, four point lead for the Sandals, and Stuart Sandal on the line shooting the and one. <laughs> the and one. The and one. Sandal left hand shooter puts it up, and we're going to get a violation. And it's all right because it was a page thing, so he just waved it off, I think. But it'll be Falcon basketball quickly down court. Sandal way out there on top, deep defending. He's got to get down low. And we get a timeout called by Coach Bonner for the Falcons. Let's take a 30-second timeout. 2.46 to go in the game. Sandal Sandal was up 40-36 to 36 on the Powwow Trading Post scoreboard. Build your career in hospitality. Saturday, March 6th, local industry leaders, Lake Powell Resorts and Marinas, the Courtyard by Marriott, and Antelope Point Marina are accepting your applications and resumes at the 18th annual Page Lake Powell Job Fair at the Courtyard by Marriott, 600 Clubhouse Drive. Social distancing is required, so please don't forget your mask. Bring your resume and dress in business attire. Be prepared for an interview and smile. We look forward to seeing you there. Go Sand Devils! Let's go home. Bring it home, Sand Devils. 40 to 36, your score. Falcons with the basketball. Mike in the backcourt. As we mentioned, Dugai and Robert Smith back, so we actually have the starting team on the floor, which has been very unusual for this ball game. Three on the way by Mike, and it's uh -huh. Xavier Mike. Pressure cooker knocks down a three from the baseline. Makes it a one point game. So, Sand Devils, Robert Smith with the basketball. And he's going to drive, kick in the corner, three on the way. Holiday, it's no good. Offensive rebound, Robert Smith. Another another opportunity for the Sand Devils with a one-point lead. Two minutes, 13 left. Stewart, inside he goes. It's knocked away by Mike. Out to Orlando Yazzie. Skip to Jonah Holiday. Falcons move real well on their, on their defensive set. Pushes the page offense way out. Dante Dugai with it. Under two minutes. Robert Smith. And as he drives, he gets it into the corner. Yazzie. Yazzie's blocked up. He's going to get doubled out, but he gets out of trouble. Gets it to Dugai. Robert Smith, right side, doesn't think of the shot. Gets it out to Dugai. Dugai on the drive. Puts it up. Leans in. Oh, uh, block. Pressure. Cooker. Dante Dugai, the two. He's... And he gets an and one. And the ones. So nice job of Dugai. Boy, he had three bodies in front of him, went up and got the basket to go. 42-39, Sand Devils on top with a minute and a half left. Mayo, no good rebound. Holiday got the rebound, had it taken away from him. Um, man, he's, he's strong with the basketball, didn't have a good hold on it. Danko, drive, stopped by Stewart. Mike with the basketball. 
Well, Geiger with it, and we're going to get an offensive char, offensive foul on Dion Doka. Did and that'll be a turnover, Sand Devil basketball. Did you see what he did? I didn't. Now he ran into the screen, and he and he and he kind of shoved him with a, with an arm. Aha! Uh -huh. So to here catch, we go to catch up. One seventeen to go in the game. Sand Devils up by three against a team who would be really nice to beat. No, it wouldn't be nice. We have to win this one. <laughs> Come on, Lombardi. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, let's pick it up. <laughs> Robert Smith on the drive inside to Stewart. Stewart, reverse layup. It's blocked. He gets the, he gets the He's rebound. Fouled. He gets it back and goes up and is fouled, as you said. And so it, that'll put Stewart on the line. Good game. That was really a nice block. And I, we, I had too many bodies in front of me. Don't see who blocked it on that backside. But a great job by the Falcons. And then Stewart got his own ball back and he puts yeah. it up and in 20 points for the uh, tall senior and I think he's got a double double now 20 and 10 Stewart next shot on the way and that's good Whew. five point lead one minute to go in the game with the three point shot you're never out of the woods <laughs> That's, uh, that's you know, true. with this kind of thing you'd say oh we got this game wrapped up no. Minute, but no sir Davenport with it to Mike. Mike with Dugay on him. Cross court to Geiger. Geiger on the drive. Nope, out to Mike in the corner. He kicks it out. Back, beautiful pass. Man, I'll tell you what, that was a wraparound pass by, by Doka, and I believe the completion by Geiger. And we're gonna get a timeout called with 44th, 41 on the clock. Let's keep it here. Oh, we're gonna keep it 37.8 left, as we said. With a three-point shot uh, anymore in basketball, you always you always have an opportunity. But that was a really beautiful behind-the-back pass inside uh, that uh, Geiger was able to, to finish. Uh, Sand Devils, again, one good thing. You got your starting lineup in. And you feel a little bit more at ease. But Confident. the Falcons have been playing really decent defense. Um, I, I thought... For a couple, the last two possessions, Stewart had a really great opportunity. We had to take it from the foul line, though. So, uh, but anyway, you can get it. But Sand, it'll be Sand Devil basketball, uh, and this is for literally uh, a good spot in the region, right? Because Fountain Hills has only lost one. We've only lost one, and so we need to have this win here to put us in a good spot for the for the North. Central. And it's 37 seconds left in the game. Sand Devils by three. And they'll face the pressure of the Falcons. And Sand Devils have got to take care of the basketball. This was the Achilles last time at Fountain Hills. We had some critical turnovers uh, towards in the fourth quarter in this kind of spot. Oh! Ball into Stewart. He retrieves it, gets it into the hands of the Orlando Yazi, and he'll be fouled. And it look, looks like he twisted his ankle going down. Let's see if he can, uh, he did get up, so he's walking. But I um, believe the foul was called on Xavier Mike, his third. Yeah, it was. Or Landon Yazoo go line, shoot the double. It's a bonus, so he'll shoot two here. Yazoo, a 71% foul shooter. 32 seconds left in the game. Sand Devils by three. And he is being bothered by that right yeah. ankle. But... <laughs> This will cure what ails you. He hits a, <laughs> he hits a pressure packed free throw. And he gets another one. Right, right. During a normal season, he'd look up in the fans for his girlfriend and say, See? <laughs> <laughs> and he misses this one. And the rebound's tapped. Yes. It's going to be tapped away yeah. by the Falcons, Dion Do Doka, and the Sand Devils will have it underneath their own basket with a four point lead. 31 Thirty seconds left. Lob oh. is tapped away by Mike. Oh, oh Hits oh. the back of the Jeez. backboard. It'll come back. This is like bowling for dollars. It came right back down the chute. 30 second timeout, Sand Devils. We'll take a 30 second timeout. 30 seconds left. Four point lead for the Sand Devils on the Fawa Trading Post scoreboard. 
Need a little good news in your life? Well, here's the deal. State Farm has new lower car insurance rates in Arizona. So you can now get the service and convenience of State Farm agent Scott Larson at an even better price. That's right. State Farm can help you save more cash and get the good neighbor service you deserve. It's the real deal for car insurance. State Farm agent Scott Larson is ready to help you in Page. Call Scott today, 645-3330. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I guess we're back. We're back. Let me just guess. We are back. 30.9 on the clock. Sand Devil basketball. And Sand Devils have got to make sure they get a good shot and take care of the basketball. Inbounding will be the sophomore, Yazzie. Yazzie will get it to Dugai, and he loses it. And it'll be Falcons basketball. Langworthy down court, picked up by Holiday, and we're going to get a timeout call by Coach Bonner. And uh, I tell you what, Boy, the, the worst thing that could happen, turn the basketball over. And uh, boy, oh boy, these, they don't want to make it easy on us. They don't want to make it easy on us. I shook off the ad. You shook the ad off, okay. But yeah, it's a four point lead and uh, Falcons did what they needed to do. Sand Devils just have to make sure they don't allow the three and you can't foul on a shot. So I mean, those are kind of the tough, Correct, thing, yeah. tough, tough things down the stretch here. And we have a couple guys with four fouls. Uh, Robert Smith with four, Dugai with four. And so that's something to watch, even with just 24 seconds on the clock, 23.8. Let's see if Yazi comes back out too. He twisted his ankle earlier. He yeah. is not coming out. Yeah, that was a good catch because Beard is on the floor for Yazi. He did tweak that ankle. Inbounding will be Denko out top to Mike. Ball to Davenport, top of the key, picked up by Holiday. Working inside, a three on the way, it's no good. Rebound, Dante Dugai gets it, but he's going to step out of bounds, I believe, or we're going to get a foul call. I believe he stepped out of bounds. I think so, too. That would be the obvious thing. Yeah, he was rushing to that corner, he and Danko. He had a chance to keep it with the, uh, get the Sand Devils the ball back. Yep. 11 seconds left. Four-point lead, Sand Devils. So Falcons will inbound. Steal by Robert Smith. Down court before the pass. We're going to get an intentional foul called. Uh, and again, that is a good call. Dunk, Doka on the floor. But Sand Devils got that ball, and Stewart flashed quickly down court because he, he was all alone. He had 20 feet on the next defender. Oh, yeah. With the intentional foul, oh, they're going to get technical. They're going to get shots. And the ball back, so that's huge. Dugai with a shot, and he misses. He'll get one more. Dugai got to hit this one, and then they get the basketball as well. Next shot up by Dugai, and it's he misses too. <laughs> My goodness. So, Eight. It'll, but it'll still be Sandable basketball with a four-point lead and 8.9, and Orlando Yazi is back on the floor. So. Like I said, you'd like to think that you could relax <laughs> with just 8.9 and a four-point <laughs> lead. <laughs> no. But, but, but no. Yeah, don't don't leave to pick up that burnt pot roast <laughs> in the oven. Oh, Landon Yazzie with the ball. Deep. You do guy. Do guy's going to back it out. Going to burn some clock. Five seconds. Or Landon Yazzie with it. They're going to try to foul him. Do guy just going to run the clock out. The Sand Devils get the win. All right. 35 to 41 over the Falcons. They saw their job to do tonight, and they got it done under some duress, no doubt about it. That is fantastic. It was a tough game to watch because it was so darn close. We're going to take a two-minute timeout. Final score, page 45. Fountain Hills 41 on the Pow Wow 20 Post scoreboard. Digging on your property line without knowing the location of underground utilities lines can result in damage to gas, electric, water, and sewer lines, which can lead to service disruptions, injuries, and costly repairs. Alliant Gas reminds you to call 811 first. It's the phone number to call before you start digging. It's free, and you should call 811 at least three days before you start any digging project, whether you're planning on doing it yourself or hiring a professional. Alliant Gas will mark the underground lines free. They deliver safety and service you can trust.
Hardee's is proud to support the PHS Sand Devil basketball program and looks forward to seeing you at their drive-in restaurant soon. Hardee's keeps us all happy and feeling like things can get back to normal since you can still get your favorite burger, burrito, or chicken sandwich with a quick and easy trip through Hardee's drive-in. You can keep your family happier with a trip to Hardee's. Try bringing it home for dinner to make everybody happier in the house. Hardee's really is a page tradition, just like Sand Devils basketball. Thanks, Hardee's, and go Sand Devils! Go Sand Devils! H&R Block of Page has geared up for the 2020 tax season, and they're ready for your tax paperwork. Get your W-2s, unemployment, pensions, Social Security, interest income, and dividend paperwork all together, and their easy drop-off service can help everybody. They call you with questions and for your signature when completed. It keeps you safe and allows the staff to do their job to get the fastest, largest refund possible. H&R Block now open longer hours to help you with all your tax work. H and our block of page hopes for a sand devil win. The road is calling you to get out of town safely, but how can you do it? Your vehicle isn't highway worthy and getting stuck in winter could be dangerous. Think about Avis. They have all sizes of cars and vans to get you, your friends and family out to see the beauty of the Grand Circle and beyond. Everybody's been wanting a getaway. You can do it safely and easily with the help of the friendly team at Avis. Just book it and you can look forward to your getaway. Give Avis a call at 928-645-2024 or stop by the Page Airport location to book a car today. Go Sand Devils. We're behind you.